Good morning. We are here. <laughs> and you are there. And we are at Candy this morning. Because this is going to be used for our Hallelujah Night. We know that our children's ministry director, Kathy Kudley, has been working on, and a lot of others. I know Joy and Elsie have been yes, they've helped. putting in time. I'm sure her husband, John, and other people as well. We are very thankful for our children's ministry director. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Kathy, she's anointed of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Uh, for teaching our children. And she is also very gifted artistically and she does beautiful murals, which you're going to see today. Yeah. We are, you're going to have a virtual tour. Yes. Through what is going to be Hallelujah Night. And uh, so that's going to be fun for you to see all that. And uh, you'll be meeting Kathy here in just a few minutes. Well, we're just glad that you're yes. here with us. We're not sure all where this is going. <laughs> well, we got some surprises happen. for you. So since we do this live, you know that's the way it is. We that's just kind how of it is. Roll with the flow. <laughs> so speaking so. of Kathy Cootley's artwork, before we go downstairs, this is one of the pieces that she created for us. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Okay. We're going to grab them. your candy here. I'll have here. to show them that picture of Jesus on the way down to the children's. Here's a picture of yeah. Jesus, Marilyn Glidden yeah. from our church mm -hmm. did. Yeah. And then this is one that, it, this is a very old picture. It was one that was done by, well, I don't know who it was done by, but it was given from another church. And I'm not sure if it was a Methodist church or a Lutheran church. Uh, Back in, in, in the, the area, 60s. In the when 60s, I think. They gave it to us. Yeah. Because the original Town Strike Community Church building was built in 1968. And that's where we're going to be going down to the and old the first basement. The part here will be that, that part. Yeah. yeah. So, honey, uh, Joy and I discovered something. You see something on top? of the picture of Jesus? Yeah, what is that? What do you think? I don't know, I can't think it all. I just saw it for the first time, and I pointed out to Joy, she thought all these, all this time it was a hanger for the picture. Oh, that's what I thought. But what did you discover, Joy? What you it's a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Tootsie. <laughs> So how, are you, so how are you going to get that, Joy? I don't know. We've, we've showed Kathy, too. We're contemplating how to flick that off. Anyway, it made us laugh. Joy says, I wonder if that's from last year's Hallelujah Night. Tootsie Roll. <laughs> yep, yeah, Tootsie so, Roll. Sure there's some way to get it. Okay, whoever gets it can eat it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it might be old. <laughs> well, have a good tour. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go down our steps. Kathy Cooley, our children's ministry director, is down here waiting for it. Remember when we showed you she was sitting on a chair working on this? I'm going to let Kathy show you what she finished. Hi, welcome to Kids Church. Um, <clears throat> this was a mural that was a long time in coming. I had a vision to do this, I don't know, probably three years before I, there was an old Coke machine here. Yes. And it was just an icky little corner. And so I just needed something here that would just pop and welcome everybody. You so, got inspired, yes. Kathy. So it got done. And it's yeah, wonderful. It really brightens up the corners. I so. love it. It's so welcoming. Here's some candy. Okay. We'll show them the counter. Let's see what all is. They're getting ready for Hallelujah Night tonight, 5:30 to 7:30, and this is sort of the counter of food. If you can't have candy, we have apples, granola bars, 
um, goldfish, some Chex, oh, the Chex mix does have some candy in it. <laughs> but, so that's this, great. and we have water here. Um, that's for, great, Kathy. Yeah, yeah, I kids. love yeah. it. Okay, yeah, now yeah. you can start going in preschool. I'm going to take over, because this is the area that Joy, how do I hold it? However you can hold it. However so. I can hold it. Okay, we're going into the preschool area. Yeah, Let this, Joy take charge here, but Kathy can me to go. Hold this? Yeah. Okay, this is okay. the preschool room where I'm the teacher. This is where we sit. We have a very cute little table. It's perfect size for preschoolers, but these chairs are very small, and that's what I get to sit in every Sunday. <laughs> and then this half of the room, we have just where I set up for my classes. Yes. And so this is the 1968 church yes. basement. This is the oldest part of our f facility. And Kathy got inspired to do artwork down here. Yes. Many years ago <gasps> now. Yeah. I don't even know. 15? That would have been the, the next part we built was 1980. Six. I meant the artwork though. Oh, the artwork was yeah. after that? Oh, well, yeah, this artwork I didn't do till I moved oh, back. Yeah, in, that's yeah, right. That's right. So, and we had a lot of help with like the color, the mountains, and yes. Yeah, yeah. let's go in So, there. a thing about this artwork, which I haven't ever told Kathy, I don't think, but every week one of my preschoolers will point out something in this artwork. <laughs> That's awesome. We were learning about Noah's Ark, and we were pointing out the animals, and they were pointing out all these oh, animals. That's wonderful. Yes. They love it. Look at that. Yay. And, you know, I'm so proud of the kids because I have done a little bit of touch-up, but it looks almost like the day I painted it. It's amazing. I love the it. The kids are yeah, very <laughs> respectful. Yes. <laughs> so, so now we'll go into your next this room. is where we have our playtime after the lesson, and there's a lot of artwork in here. Look at this. So this is like many hours of a lot of people. I can't even tell you how many coats of paint, especially the red. I mean, <clears throat> Joyce, I know you were helping. There was a lot of different ladies that yes. came in and helped us just, yeah. So over the years, thank the Lord, we a lot of times have water coming in. But I think that's solved now. Yes. Yeah. So it was always a thought of, oh, you know, this could possibly get moldy, but it hasn't, it hasn't. and it's still in place. Yes. I love it. Look at this. Look at this behind Kathy. <laughs> the helium balloons. So what do the kids do here, Joy? Well, we have lots of different toys. This is always a popular area, mostly for little boys, but there's some girls that like it. Those bins over there are filled with toy cars so they have fun on this play mat and we have a little I don't know handyman thing and then yeah, yeah. our doll section which all the kids will play with <laughs> there will just be a big swarm of kids around Look this at that. Mm -hmm. and then I we have it. a lot of fun stuffed animals last week we were playing veterinarian oh um, <laughs> with all the different animals <laughs> And then we have a little kitchen area and a little house yes. and a table. Last week, this was a drive through This is always a different thing. Okay. drive through restaurant, house. It has I very it. a lot of purposes. Look at the color. Now one more preschool yes. room. I love the artwork in this room. This room is more of our, well, it's supposed to be more of a quiet room, but that doesn't usually happen. Um, we have like our books, which we'll gather around and read. And this is a little puppet area, which there's a bunch of puppets behind there. And then we have these tables, which sometimes there will be a little video to go with the lesson. Otherwise, we always have some unique Lego creations and puzzles going on in that table. Well, and the artwork in this room was done by many of the now grown children yes. that Anna, Faith, um, helped with painting the flowers on the borders. I remember and, that. Too. And we did a lot of outlining after that was done, but it just came together oh, so beautifully. Look at that. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. 
Just mm -hmm. see this little girl here, there. Awesome. All right. Now we're switching. <laughs> we'll go out. Can you get out? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You do that on purpose, don't you? Yeah, some of my kids like to try to escape. So, <laughs> so tell us about this area. So happy. This room, um, Doreen Mitby, for many years, yes. had a vision of this on the wall. All God's children praise him. Hallelujah. So yeah. she was the one that decided. And <clears throat> so I got it all painted up there. This was special, and the only thing I wish I had put the children's okay. names. But um, so this is many children that were there at the time, and then later on we came and did the one above, where then I did all oh, the children's names. So you can actually see who's who's like. I didn't and even Lily. know that. Yeah, I hadn't seen that. Eva. Gavin, yeah, Elsie, so yeah, oh, I think I even awesome. have mine way down yep. there. <laughs> so that was done later, but you know, it was just a fun little added touch. And then this mural, um, Doreen had the idea of what to put here, and so um, we drew it up there on the wall, and Caitlin Johnson did, did all of the painting on all of these children, and for years it was kind of funny. You know, this little girl back here um, didn't look like she had any legs. <laughs> Just an added little thing. And I think Andrew pointed it out. He said, there's, there's children that are asking, where are her legs? <laughs> so that was one thing that we hadn't drawn in there. But <clears throat> after Caitlin um, painted, then I came back in and did all the line work. And I thought it looked neat just yes. to leave this, but then I did a big frame around it to finish it, and it took a while to get the whole thing done. But, it's wonderful. But it's, now yes. we're heading okay. into... So this is our start of Hallelujah Night. When the children come, they can sign in. We have a prize giveaway box, and every child is going to get a prize for sure. There are so many prizes. I can't even tell you how blessed the children are going to be. So then they'll put their name on their treat bag, get a name tag, <clears throat> excuse me, and then come over here. This is our guessing area where I have lots of papers ready for them to guess all these different things, and they'll get a special prize, the child that can guess closest. There's the big pumpkin, not as big as last year. <laughs> But that's, uh, hopefully, every child will get that done with the help I of love their parents. It. And then this is our big game room area with, um, you can see over in the corner, we've got all the prizes. Wow. Uh, including McDonald's gift certificates again this year. Uh, so at the very end of Hallelujah Night, the children have to stay, and then they will all get to pick prizes. Um, but before that, we'll have a special puppet skit done by Elsie and Joy. That nobody's going to want to miss that. And we'll have a pinata, which Andrew heads up. Um, but then at 5:30, all of the games are available just for the children to roam around and play um, with their parents' help. Probably a lot. We'll have somebody at every station to help and, and to so are the youth candy. some of your helpers yes we yeah. have a lot of youth that are going to help so That's i'm really good. thankful and at for that. each station let's look at the different okay, things let's do okay so this this one's called the sticky clown um you try to make a bullseye and joy and elsie put the little lines here for the little kids and then the kids that are bigger <laughs> so that we good. we have that all set and then this is called the silly scarecrow um, this is a rain toss. Oh, yes. When I made this, um, <clears throat> I had these cool things. My dad, he was a farmer and a logger, and he has buckets of all kinds of old things. So anyway, I put those. Every time I look at this, I think you of my dad. Think of dad. <clears throat> so <laughs> it's tricky, I'm isn't it? It is. It takes some practice. Maybe you can stand on that line. <laughs> So the next one is whoop, Mr. Clown, and this is a beanbag toss. 
Um, <clears throat> the kids love to really wail on this guy. It's kind of flimsy, so. <laughs> but boy, do they have fun. It has lasted, who knows? I mean, that one's one of the first ones I made. So yes. Here go. And here's another. This is the pumpkin bean bag, bag toss. Um, you can see there's numbers. For yep. If you can yep. get the hardest one, you get two candies. And over here, this is Humpty Dumpty. And so the kids, this, we use this a lot on Sundays. This is one we leave out. <laughs> but <laughs> the kids love this because they can just wail on it. And if they can hit without knocking the wall over, oh, then that's the key. they get a point. So, But the wall falls easily. So if they hit the wall, <laughs> they're done for. <laughs> and this one... Uh, it's called a ring toss, so it used to be a little more difficult because there were big flowers on these, but it's okay because over the years I've just added them to the background. Yes. Um, and next we have the lantern toss. This one we changed up a bit this year. We had it as a block toss, but I had all these really cool, this is like a plant from my mother's garden. And I thought they're so cool looking. I love them. They're orange. Yes. So they do. They do actually fly. Well, I'm not proud of them. Yeah. They yeah. They fly pretty easily, and they'll have lots of chances. So, on to Mr. Snowman. This is another ring toss, which there's only one thing to hook it on, but unbelievably, it's very hard. I so can believe it, takes, it. We have a lot of rings there, and coming around. Uh, in the center of the oh, room. Yes. This is uh, kind of multi. Uh, the outside is for the little tiny kids because the challenge in the center is pretty hard. You can do it because I've done it, but you want to take the little hook. We won't have any of the duckies on the boats, but you want to take the hook. You got to hook the little ducky. You got to bring him over and make him balance on the boat. See, it's kind of hard. So anyway, it's tricky, but I you can do it because we've done it. Look at those um, cute ducks. And in this outside ring for the little kids, they have to dig and they can find little duckies and there's a number on the bottom. So that's... And what I noticed, Kathy, is there's little buckets by each station, so there's little prize prizes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So every time the person running the game decides how much candy to mm -hmm. give each child, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we will have plenty. <laughs> so, <laughs> this over here, everybody knows what the clothespin drop is. Kids have to stand up here. And... <laughs> so, that one's actually not that hard. <laughs> this area is just for the kids that want to sit and chill and color and we it's have markers good. and crayons. Good. And over here is our face painting in our tattoo area. Uh, we'll have face pomp, and I, I'm hoping um, we might get some other ladies. Maybe Gabby mm -hmm. Waller. She's a good artist too. Um, so yeah, the kids can have that. their face painted. Everything's free, by the way. Yes. You don't have to pay. And Mrs. we popcorn. like this station. Yes. So Julie is going to be in charge of doing all the popcorn. Um, it's free too, yes. free popcorn. And in this room, more games. This is a new one this year called the Kitty Cat Bean Bag Toss and little tiny bean bags. So the little kids, I think, will be able to do it really easily. You just yes. try to get over all the little kitty cats. And this is kind of more a little area for them just to decorate. Um, we were given some fun little things by Bobby Joe. Uh, so this is like decorating oh, yes. your own little animals. Here is decorating pumpkins with fun little face facial yeah, things. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have the bottle ring toss. Um, yeah, the kids stand here and try to circle the bottles and when they fall over, um, you don't want them, or you okay, want to get yeah. every bottle. You want to try? All right, what do I do? I get you try to bottle, circle right? the bottle, yeah. <laughs> so it's hard. Yeah. It's very hard. It's hard. <laughs> 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 you know, it'll, it'll take probably all of those. We should have more of those. So over here is Plinko. 
Oh, uh, yes. This was, so I don't know that. who made this, but it's worked wonderful. Daisy oh, Johnson. Did he make it? Oh, it is a really fun game. You start up here on the line and just let it go. Whoops, usually it lands. So wherever it lands, you know, you would get zero candy there. <laughs> here you would get two and so forth. <laughs> but you have... I like that. You have four chances. Yeah. And, good. you know, it's not saying you can only do it one time either. They go around and around and around. So next, balloon animals. Um, this is where Andrew is an expert. He does beautiful things yes, for the kids he does. every year. Yes, um, he does. <clears throat> excuse me. Next is the penny throw. <clears throat> this, you have to take and try to get the penny somewhere, first of all, in the one, and then in the two, and the three is the center. And then you can move on. Oh. Four, five is somewhere here. Six is the center. And then the real hard one, seven, eight, and nine. I don't remember this from last year, did so, you? Yeah, no, this is, we've had this for probably five years or so. Okay. Uh, it's, sometimes I don't pull it out because okay. a lot of kids say it's hard. Okay. But I thought, well, you know, some like more of a challenge. See the artwork there? <clears throat> I love that. So one year I did a lesson on all of the things that God says and thinks about kids. And so I just oh, thought I would just use good. this as a backdrop good. this year. Well, not just about kids, oh, all of us as his children. Pom -pom. So this is the pom-pom throw. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's six pom-poms. <laughs> So you want to start here, get the one, another pom-pom. Sure, pom there's pom challenges. I can it's see that. So next is the cake walk, cupcake walk. Show this a bit. <clears throat> I love that. The sign. Isn't that cool? That sign has been there since. But you, did your mom make it? Or your dad? Dad, Andrew did, but you've added I the, put a lot of glitter oh, on it yes. just to make it pop, but I love it. It does. <clears throat> That is good. And next is the cupcake walk. Carla Mandrell, if anybody's had any of her goodies, Ooh. she is making the cupcakes this year. So <clears throat> I think everybody knows how that works. Yeah. Um, then we have another beanbag toss right here. And next we have the cornhole game. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows it's kind of a mini version. Um, because, yeah, we don't have the space for a great big two-sided one, but the kids love that. And the apple toss yeah. we leave up all year. I the like kids that. love this game. And pretty much, we used to have hard apples, and those little babies bounced. <laughs> so when you would get them in, they would pretty much always bounce right back out. So I made these little oh, cloth ones, which stuffed they ones. will still bounce out if they throw them too hard. But oh, anyway, it's a little it's bit easier. Wonderful. And that's about that's it. That's about it. Yeah. Oh, but thank you. We are excited about tonight. It's I know all the kids love it so much. So bring your children yes. tonight. Um, children's friends. Yes. Everyone is welcome. Yes. What I remember, um, Kathy always has a time with the kids. I don't know at what point. So the skit is going to be the really special time for the children. Um, Joy is going, I, sh I don't want to give it away. You don't have so, to. No. It's so cute. <laughs> but every child will have the opportunity to ask Jesus into their hearts. Yes. And so that is the time that, yes, is the most special yes. of the whole Time yes. Is, yeah, we're we remember the one Hallelujah night where um, someone that lives on our road, the the children came and they were listening so close. I believe that time you were sharing. You had a, a story of Jesus. There was pictures you were showing, and then it was a thing of raising their hand if they wanted to ask Jesus in their heart. And I just watched that. It was They were just absorbing oh, that. Oh, that's 
precious. Yeah. yeah. So that's Lord. the whole point. Yes, it is. It's the whole point of this whole setup. This is our alternative to Halloween. Yes. Um, we want the children that come to know that they are the light of the world. So, you know what? I actually wrote this verse down. Can I read it? Yes. Okay. Please. So this is the verse that kind of is my main theme here. It's from Matthew 15, 14 through 16. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. So that's what it. we are doing on yes. Hallelujah Night. Yes. We are shining. And we want to just shine on everybody and know that we can do that every day. Yes. To everyone in our house, our neighbors, yes. to be a light shining for I Jesus. I love it. That's our whole intention. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Abby. yes. It's yes. a blessing. Oh. It's a blessing. That's what yes. it's, you know, it's so oh. wonderful. It's, I call it a redeeming of a holiday that is not a very good holiday. Absolutely. Yes. You know, Halloween, you know, it's magnifying the works of darkness in the spirit realm that is not good. But this is just the opposite. And our children need that today. They need to know that. And they need to know, like it says in 1 John 4, 4, that greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. That light that Kathy was talking about, that shines brighter. When you bring light into a dark place, which Halloween's a dark place, mm-hmm. what Kathy and her team of people, a good team of people, are doing, they're lighting a Jesus candle in the middle of all this darkness. Yes. And it's yeah. going to be very good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and on a side note, no scary costumes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bring yeah. what Bible characters? Yeah, or, or anything. anything. Yeah, it could be like... a, <clears throat> a pumpkin, whatever. <laughs> Not I scary. know what Elsie is going to be dressed up, but I'm not sure. Are you coming dressed up? I don't know. I remember don't one time. This oh. is way back. <laughs> Not sure even what the event was, but it was before Hallelujah Night, I think. Um, a guy named J.R., he came as uh, Jonah. And he, after he got spit out of the whale and he had green, oh, wow. slimy stuff all over him. <laughs> the creative! <laughs> the creative. He looked kind of a mess. <laughs> Well, it was fun having you join us on this particular Wednesday touch point, but this time we got to go into the kids' church basement. That's and brilliant. I'm telling you, the light that I see on the kids from the little ones, uh, it, yeah. it's their place. Yes. Yeah. It's their place. Yeah. It's their place here. They know that. This is their special place. Where we are right now in 1986 when this was first built, this was the youth room. Over there was our fellowship hall. And that little kitchen you saw, that was the original kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So it's got good use yeah. now. It's yeah. just filled with stuff for the kids. Amen. Well, okay. Blessings on yep. you all. Blessings. And we'll see you next week. Yep. Love you all. See you. Or we'll, we'll see you tonight. See oh, you yeah. Tonight. That's we'll good. See you tonight. That's good. And Sunday, too. Yeah. Yes. Love you all. Bye-bye.